Hi, good morning. This is uh, Peabody Access TV, and we're here with our uh, Student Government Day counterparts uh, and our Student Government Day employees from the school department. Uh, we're very excited to uh, have our students with us, and uh, we look forward to a wonderful day and evening. Okay. Well, let's begin with introductions. Who you are, what grade you're in, hold the microphone up, and um, what you're going to do next year if you're a senior. Hi, I'm Michaela Faris. I'm going to North Shore Community College for nursing next year. Excellent. And I'm a senior in high school. Hi, I'm Courtney Ball. I'm a senior in high school and I'm attending Assumption College to study physical therapy. Hi, my name is Christopher Bellevue and I will be attending LaSalle College next year, majoring in sports management with a minor in coaching, and I'm a senior in high school. Hi, my name is Jennifer Puzo. I'm a senior in high school, and next year I'll be attending Salem State University to study English. Hi, I'm Ava Murata. I'm a senior at Peabody High, and I'll be attending Salem State studying elementary education. Hi, my name is Julia Kirby. Um, I'm a senior in high school, and I'm either going to be going to Wentworth or Western New England for biomedical engineering. I'm Ryan DeLeva. I'm a senior. I don't know where I'm going next year, and I don't know what I want to study. Uh, Eric DeMeo, senior, going to Wagner College to study behavioral economics. Margaret Belliotis, I'm going to University of Maine in Orono to study biology and I'm a senior in high school. Hi, I'm Holly Sherman, I'm a senior at PBD High and I'm going to Eckerd College for international business next year. Hi, I'm Isabella Ricciardi, I'm a senior in high school and I'm going to be attending Assumption College next year to study criminal justice. Great. Would you pass that back? Hi, I'm Jared Stanton. I'm a freshman. I'm studying. <laughs> Jared Stanton, I'm the business manager. Hi, I'm Steve Farrell. I'm the uh, HR or Human Resource Administrator with the city, uh, school department. Hi, I'm Andrew Notice, and I'm a member of the school committee. Hi, I'm Kara Martag, Assistant Superintendent of Schools. Hi, I'm Beverly Griffin Dunn, member of the school committee. So we can say anything we want? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Freedom of speech doesn't apply to you. <laughs> I'm Ruth Groovy, Special Director of the Schools. Hi, I'm Marjorie Maccarelli, the Administrative Assistant to the Superintendent, and I'm a senior, senior, senior in the school department. <laughs> Maybe you could share with us some of your um, thoughts about your experience at, at Peabody Veterans Memorial High School. Um, maybe some of your favorite things, maybe some of your least favorite things, whatever it is that you'd like us to know. So I would say my favorite thing about Peabody High is being able to join sports and be with the team every single day, and my least favorite thing is waking up early. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my favorite thing about Peabody High is how diverse it is and how many different types of people you get to meet there. My favorite thing about Peabody High is probably the sports and how you're with the team every day and you're like a family. And my least favorite thing is probably waking up early as well. <laughs> my favorite thing at Peabody High is definitely the performing arts community because it's a really great community and it's a lot of fun to be with those people. My favorite thing about Peabody High is being able to create my own schedule. Uh, so I've been to three high schools actually so I have a little bit of experience with different high schools but I think that my favorite thing about Peabody High is probably that uh, if there's a problem, students can band together and we discuss it and we can make change ourselves. Um, at Peabody High, I like that um, you can kind of pursue your own interests in that like we have lots of different electives and other things that we can like take to further enrich our learning in some areas. Uh, I gotta say my favorite thing about Peabody High is the amount of different types of friends I made, like I'm not stuck to one crowd, I'm friends with everybody with all different types of backgrounds, and uh, I gotta agree, I'm not a fan of the 720 start time. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite thing is that basically in any hall or any classroom there's some kind of painting in it, which adds character to it, and yeah, the start time is a no-go. Mm -mm. <laughs> Um, my favorite part of PBD High is being able to join any like club or organization um, without feeling left out. You go in and you're just like always feel welcomed. And my least favorite part is definitely waking up. Um, my favorite thing about PBD High is definitely the um, performing arts as well. I really like how much of a family it is, and definitely like the sports teams as well. And my least favorite thing would be like waking up early as well. So I'm going to ask the 
<clears throat> folks in the back row, you didn't pay for the tickets, uh, <laughs> if you would talk to us about your favorite thing about your job and, and why you like Peabody. Sure. Uh, first thing I said, how much I like Peabody is just the people you meet, kind of like you guys all said. Everyone in the community, they come together. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. I've worked in a number of school districts and I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the favorite thing about my job is definitely budgets. Love putting budgets together. Uh, doing that right now. We start next month. Uh, I can't wait. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and on my side, it is again with uh, the diverse group of people. Um, it's one of the reasons I had returned back to this position. Uh, folks are outstanding. They're real. They're true. A um, lot of character. Um, the city, the administrators, my bosses are all folks moving in the right direction. And uh, it's all about all of you here, you know, making a, a purpose or a reason to uh, move forward. So. Cheers. So I'm an amateur to this board. It's only been a few months. Um, but I'll tell you, I, I ran for it wanting to give a little something back to the city because I love Peabody. I always have. That's why I'm still here. Um, but I'll tell you, it's nice being with a group of people, those who work for the school department and those who are also elected. It's a community that is dedicated to our school system. And I think it's, it's something special to have that. I was born and raised in Peabody, so I haven't left, and I've been in the school system 21 years, um, starting as a teacher, vice principal, principal, assistant superintendent, and next year, superintendent of schools. Um, I love what I do. I love working with the teachers, and especially with all of you. Um, you all can make a difference, and you do each and every day, so thank you. It's, it's a lot of fun. It really is to be on the school committee. You work with them, amazing people. You serve with some amazing people, and the best part is we get to make a good difference. At least I hope we make a good difference. Sometimes we have to go back and revisit things we've worked on, but trying to make PBD better every day is a really, believe it or not, it's a really enjoyable job. So I work with um, kid, students that are not as typically um, developed as you all are. Um, and some of you volunteer to work with our students and my favorite part about the job is definitely the kids. Um, what they bring, how they integrate, and how they think is um, just pure magic to me and that's my favorite part about working here. The favorite part of my job is that I get to touch all aspects, um, students, parents, staff, kids. <laughs> kids um, from every level I've, I've been in the district for 12 years I've loved working with Bev Dunn all these years <laughs> my favorite school committee member along with Andrew <laughs> but I have a great job remember I have this a great is going job public. great bosses <laughs> all of them we have a great school committee a great city I, I've never lived here but I've always worked here Every job I've ever had and the people in Peabody are wonderful and the kids are even better. So for me, this is my 49th year in education. I've been um, uh, everything from a teacher to a, a director of an alternative school. I uh, took my first principalship at Timberlane Regional High School up in New Hampshire for four years. Uh, became principal of Chelmsford High School up in the Merrimack Valley for four years. I uh, was deputy superintendent in Wakefield for four years and then uh, finished my career temporarily um, with seven years as superintendent in Salem next door. Uh, I came back to Peabody in 2011, so I, I did four years here. Um, I've retired mm, three times, um, <laughs> but this is the real one. Uh, I am retiring on June 30th. I, I would just tell you a few things about my, my career and, and what has impacted me, and it's always around kids. Uh, you kids are amazing. Um, you kids, uh, the, the kids in Peabody, uh, kids wherever I've been, they never let you down. Uh, trust the kids has always been a motto of mine. Kids first has always been a motto. And if you follow that directive, if you keep that directive as a school administrator or a school teacher or a school anything, uh, you'll always be on the right path. Because we can never lose focus that the reason that we do this job is because there are kids on the other side of the door waiting to get in every morning. We have to consider kindergarten through grade 12. We have to consider the best and the brightest and those who struggle and everybody in between. And it's a, it's a tremendous responsibility 
but it's tremendously gratifying. There is nothing more gratifying than to deal, deal with kids like you right now uh, who have made your career through the high school and are going off to change the world in whatever way you go off to change the world. And by the way, you don't have to change the world in international relations and you don't have to change the world at the state house and you don't have to change the world even in local government. You can change the world by being a good neighbor, by being a good sister, brother, husband, wife, father, mother, um, get involved in community relations. It can be changing the world from many different perspectives. That's what America allows. That's what America gives you, the freedom to choose. And that's a great thing. So every now and again, when you look at what's going on in the United States and you say, I wish things were different, make them different. Uh, when you say, I wish people would be kinder and more compassionate, be kind and compassionate. Because that will change the world and it'll change your part of the world. Don't ever think that your role in this country, being so big with over 300 million people, is minimal. It isn't. It's every one of you that impacts our lives every single day. You're so important to the health of this country. Take that advantage, take that opportunity.